Falcon Heavy Animation Towards the end of 2017, Elon Musk announced that he is planning to send his personal Tesla Roadster into orbit, with a dummy sitting in the driving seat donning the SpaceX spacesuit. The SpaceX Falcon Heavy will have the ability to lift nearly 64 metric tons, 141,000 pounds. This amasses to a weight far greater than a 737 jetliner loaded with passengers, crew, luggage, and fuel. For its launch, the first stage is composed of three Falcon 9-9 engine cores that provide 5 million pounds of thrust. After liftoff, and when in the outer atmosphere, two side boosters will separate and return to their landing sites for future use. Traveling even further, the center core later detaches and returns to land on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. The final stage of the launch of the SpaceX Falcon Heavy sees the spacecraft's top release the Tesla Roadster, where it will travel at a max velocity of 11 kilometers 7 miles per second until orbiting Mars. Spin Launch Spin Launch is developing a kinetic energy space launch system that reduces dependency on traditional chemical rockets, with the goal of significantly lowering the cost of access to space while increasing the frequency of launch. The technology uses a vacuum sealed centrifuge to spin a rocket and then hurl it to space at up to 4,660 miles per hour, 7,500 kilometers per hour, 2.08 kilometers s. The rocket then ignites its engines at an altitude of roughly 200,000 feet 60 kilometers to reach orbital speed of 17,150 miles per hour 27,600 kilometers hour 7.666 kilometers s with a payload of up to 200 kilograms. Peak acceleration would be approximately 10,000 g. If successful, the acceleration concept is projected to lower the cost of launches and to use much less power, with the price of a single space launch reduced by a factor of 20 to under 500,000 US dollars. The spin launch system's historical predecessors include centrifugal guns. Hassel EOC presents Mars Habitat. Hassel partnered with Eckersley O'Callaghan to design the external shell which could be constructed entirely by autonomous robots using Mars natural regolith to protect the astronauts from the radiation the robots would be sent to Mars a few years before astronauts are due to arrive. These intelligent autonomous robots will have interchangeable roles, from battery storage to scout rovers, logistics to excavation, and even 3D printing units, all integrated with multiple cameras and sensors for navigation. They can reconfigure themselves for a multitude of purposes, ensuring prolonged usage beyond the initial build phases. Once the astronauts land, they would rapidly construct the building's interior using a series of inflatable pods that incorporate all the living and working requirements for everyday life on Mars. The design moves beyond the idea of astronauts purely as operators to create a habitat where people will not only survive on Mars, but really thrive there. Mojo Lens 
Mojo Lens revolutionary design uses a tiny micro LED display the size of a grain of sand to share critical information, and smart sensors powered by solid state batteries built into a scleral lens that also corrects your vision. By overlaying digital information onto our world, Mojo Lens empowers each of us to be our best self in any situation. Many augmented reality AR solutions try to create immersive experiences that can clutter reality. Mojo Lens is different. It quietly provides you with crucial data while you are engaged in events that demand your attention. You can see trails on a ski slope, your pace for your last mile of a run, or talking points for a presentation, all without holding a device or looking down at a screen. With its invisible, wearable display, Mojo Lens helps you keep your concentration by providing information heads up and hands free. Hyundai Elevate Hyundai announced Monday the formation of its new Horizon Studio, which will focus on developing what the company calls Ultimate Mobility Vehicles, or UMVs. The UMVs will push the extreme limits of vehicle development and will traverse off-road terrains with unprecedented mobility through a combination of robotics and wheeled locomotion technology, Hyundai said. The Elevate standout feature is that its four wheels are attached to four robotic legs. That, according to Hyundai, has numerous real-world applications. Hyundai envisions that an Elevate-style vehicle could help first responders traverse harsh terrain after natural disasters or pick up wheelchair users who don't have access to an ADA ramp right at their doorstep. Infinity Synaptic Infinity has entered the 11th annual Los Angeles Auto Show Design Challenge with Synaptic, a unique answer to this year's theme of sensing the future. How will cars interact with us in 2029 participating for the first time in the design challenge? Infinity designers from its San Diego studio look toward the future in which augmented reality. 3D hologram and wearable technologies may be a part of the everyday driving experience, creating a seamless interaction between man and machine then, too. Demonstrate exactly how these futuristic technologies could be used to make driving even more interactive, the Infinity design team imagined a vehicle triathlon called the ARC race, which includes air, rally, and circuit competitions. That for each of the three races, the synaptic design provides a universal fuselage for the driver to control each of the different air, rally, and circuit vehicles. <music> Nissan E4 Orse Rum Encounter. The E4 ORCE ROM Encounter was inspired by the new E4 ORCE technology used in the Nissan Aria. E4 ORCE is a twin-motor all-wheel control tech innovation. In addition to delivering powerful driving performance, traceability, and stability, E4 ORCE reduces front and rear vehicle sway when decelerating to help to reduce potential occupant discomfort. Operating on a ROM Encounter top, the E4 ORCE ROM Encounter harnesses this advanced tech to deliver ramen directly to the customer without spilling a drop. E4 ORCE combines Nissan electrification technology with all-wheel control and chassis control. This greatly improves driving performance steering and braking in particular. The front and rear motors ensure vehicle stability and an exciting, comfortable drive for the driver and passengers. Equilius The conceptual Equilius electric bike has been designed by Ethan Sue as a transportation solution for mountain patrollers to keep them agile and prepared for any situation. The motorcycle is designed with safety in mind and features total of five waterproof storage modules with two on each of the side pods and another in the rear. 
The bike boasts contoured dashboard displays for monitoring battery levels, navigation, altitude, direction, and even pre-designated waypoints. The conceptual Aquilius electric bike allows all of the aforementioned storage boxes to be easily removed for accessing equipment from anywhere. The bike is rounded out with a series of substantial shock supports for preventing bumpy or uneven terrain from causing discomfort for the rider. IFO The Identified Flying Object Designed by Pierpaolo Lazzarini from Italian company Jet Capsule, the identified flying object is a proposed two-seater drone-slash-copter vehicle. The chassis, composed of a main central capsule cockpit, measures 2 meters in diameter and is surrounded by a carbon fiber disc with an overall dimension of 4.70 meters. Jet Capsule's IFO is fueled by eight electric engines, able to push the flying object to an estimated top speed of about 120 miles per hour. Different energy resources are provided from various batteries located in the disc and with an additional battery pack placed at the center of the capsule body, the estimated flight autonomy ranges between 60 and 70 minutes. For a smooth landing, the vehicle has six folding and extending suspensions which makes it possible to access the IFO through an elevator generated from the lower subspherical body. Hyantic Moon Audi Vista the student-designed car concept and four-seater Audi Vista folds in the middle and transforms into a Segway to navigate crowded cities and cramped parking spaces. Looking at Moon's presentation, the design might pave way for an Audi electric automobile supported by electric charging at available stations. Moon based his design on three keywords fun to signify the pleasure of its driving experience, freedom to usher in the enjoyment of the fresh atmosphere and style, and quattro as the concept will employ Audi's in-house technology of the same title. Wurzela Future Shipping Wurzela Voyage, part of Finnish technology major Wurzela, provides intelligent technology to enable a cleaner, more connected maritime world. It is building a digital ecosystem for commercial shipping where all vessels are technologically smart, safer, and energy efficient. Commenting on the occasion of this year's World Maritime Day, WMD, which focuses on new technologies for greener shipping, Barrett said, the green transition is now at the top of every ship manager, owner, and operator's agenda. As the IMO's EEXI and CII regulation fast approaches, ensuring compliance will be a key driver for maritime organizations to harness technology for greener shipping. Oceanix Busan a sustainable floating city prototype named Oceanix Busan is set to be built in South Korea next year, creating a livable metropolis that adapts to rising sea levels. Visuals of the project, designed by big architects, display a star-shaped community for 12,000 residents, constructed from self-healing bio-rock that supports ocean habitats. These renderings, supplied by UN Habitat, the Busan Metropolitan City of the Republic of Korea and Blue Tech Design Company Oceanix display the progressive vision of the flood-proof infrastructure that will produce its own energy, food, and fresh water. The buildings within the city will have distinct identities, each an experiment in passive design. 